A young boy sits in the classroom, head on his fist, as he sits through what feels like his millionth time listening to the story of Martin Luther King Jr. It's February 1st. He raises his hand to ask the teacher a question that half the class is thinking but dare not ask, why do we have to learn about these same people year after year for Black History Month? Rosa Parks, Thurgood Marshall, Harriet Tubman, Malcolm X, I've memorized the whole list. Honestly, why do we even really need Black History Month anymore? I mean, if any of us really wanted to know about these people, that's why we have Google. The teacher patiently listens to the boy's words and simply replies, those who do not know their history are condemned to repeat it. But the boy's question is never really answered as he continues on with the lesson, but why? Why dedicate an entire month to the well-known history of a once segregated nation? Is it true that if we do not repeat this annual process, that the dark past of our ancestors will creep into our hearts, our mindsets, our actions, or did it ever leave? Yes, we vote progression, colorblindness, equality and justice for all in this nation, yet too many of its citizens would still beg to differ. It's history now. I want to say no, but when I go to see Black Panther, I have a little part of me that wonders if I'm going to support this movie for the same reason my ancestors went to support the activists under the same name. I want to say no, but why does it feel like Get Out was quite so disturbing because it hit a little too close to home? I want to say no, but I look up the definition of black and the first thing I see is the absence or complete absorption of light, so I am without light? Yet, why does my skin thrive in the sun, melanin seemingly created for me? Why does Matthew 5 verse 16 tell me to let my light shine before others? These definitions conflict in my head and I try to quiet my thoughts by telling myself I'm just thinking too deep. It's not that serious. Stop playing the victim. Okay, that's how you make this a race thing, they say. So I try to stop. And as a black female, when I feel subconsciously forced to straighten my hair because I'm told that my curls are hard, almost unmanageable, or was that my personality? I stay quiet. Forced to put on makeup so that my eyes become the only thing that still show the pain of rejection from my nation, or is it acceptance? Look, this is America. Everyone has a free chance in America. Look at Oprah, okay? Who doesn't love Oprah? Worth 2.9 billion, yes, she should be the benchmark, yet why do I get the feeling that she's just the exception? No. <laughs> no, come on, look. Look at Jay-Z and Beyonce. They are proof that black people have an equal chance in this country. I mean, who doesn't love Beyonce? Yes, I will agree that now, more than ever, hard work can beat even your racial description in terms of opportunities for all, yet why is success not yet as colorblind as this nation claims to be? An individual's net worth makes them the spokesperson for an entire community, and the argument on the tip of society's lips whenever a person of color dares complain about race impact and progression. <laughs> Seems like we work hard to become the excuse. I bet now you think I'm gonna say, Black History Month is for Black Lives Matter, right? <laughs> See, where you're wrong is I can get with the All Lives Matter thing, yet I have seen one too many cases where sons, Daughters, fathers, and friends are murdered at the hands of those who are employed only to protect us. And those lives lost are met with nothing but justifications, newsflash. There is never a good reason to take a life. Yet our nation has seemed to forgotten that, so excuse me when I remind them that yes, all lives do matter, including my and my people's black lives. Why Black History Month? To be reminded that we are continually responsible for creating history, <laughs> scratch that, his story and her story. We are not just a lost and invaluable people, but a result of the lineage of the strongest Africans stolen from their home country. A result of the lineage of the strongest slaves who not only survived, but thrived in this new land we now call our home. We have that blood running through our veins, exemplified in the people that we continually learn about in this month. Black history was then, but black history is right now. Black history is all of us. <laughs>